Welcome to the MapInfo Discover webinar series. The presentation will start shortly. What we're going to do next is use the Discover line annotation tool that will allow you to annotate lines such as unconformities, faults, folds with their standard geologic symbols. The lines can also be annotated at set intervals or cursor placement with text characters or symbols. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to annotate selected faults using the fault annotation. So the first thing that I'd like to do is let's go ahead and select anticlines from our, our layer here. And you can see that anticlines have been selected. And now that we've selected them, what we're going to do is we're going to use the Discover Map Making line annotation tool and we're going to place our annotation every two kilometers. The annotation type is going to be non-text and this is going to be for an anticline. The symbol size, let's set this at 8. The map scale is 1 to 100,000 and we are going to use the selected line style and now what we're going to do is we are going to create a new annotation table and you can see I've done this before and so I'm just going to select copper heel structure anno which is short for annotation to store my uh, line styles in. Now that I've done that I'm going to say OK and you can see that our selection has now been attributed with the correct line style. So let's do that for a couple of other features. Let me unselect the features that are currently selected. And now I think for the next one what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to my select by group and move my anticline over to the unselected column. And now I'm going to select thrust faults and say OK. And so my thrust faults are now selected. So let's go back to Discover, Map Making, Line Annotation, and let's select the Line Annotation feature for thrust faults. We're going to change the symbol size and this is going to be 10 points instead of 8. The map scale is the same and everything else should be taken as defaults. So let's say OK and see what happens here. So you can see now that we have um, line annotation applied to our thrust faults. So that's a good thing. The next thing that I'd like to do is we've got some boundaries that are questionable boundaries and so they're inferred contacts. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to put the question mark on the line styles. So let's go ahead and I'm going to unselect what we have. Let's come back and unselect our thrust faults and let's find the option here that says fault inferred and move it to the selected column and actually go ahead and select it. So you can see we've got this line work here. So I'm going now to go back to discover map making and line annotation and instead of having a non-text annotation type, I'm going to select text annotation and I'm going to come up and I'm going to find the question mark that should be here someplace. There it is. And the font size that I'd like to use for this is going to be 12. And then everything else is going to remain the same. So let's go ahead and say OK. And you can see that we have added the question marks to the line work that we've selected. So here what I can do, let's just unselect our scanned image and you can actually see what's happened here. So this is looking fairly good and at this point what I'd like to do is let's go ahead and save our work. So let's say File and Save Table and we're going to save the annotations that we have just created. This concludes the seminar. For additional information 
on webinars and training services, visit our website at http www.geographicsworld.com or contact us at 520-744-4457.